Hey there, hope everyone is doing well. So I wanted to share something with you. I was just on a call and we were talking about confidence and I looked up the dictionary definition of confidence. And this is from the Oxford Dictionary. And it says confidence is the feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on someone or something. When we talk about being confident, showing up in life in a confident way, approaching your situations with confidence, whether that's in work, whether that's in relationships, however you have to show up in the world. If you need to make a YouTube video, you have to make a presentation at work, you're called upon to do something. And there can be this feeling of hesitation because you're not sure that you can do this thing. You're not sure that you can do this new thing. And I want to encourage you, every single thing that you are now comfortable doing was once a new thing to you. There had to be a step of courage where you decided, okay, I know this is new. I know I've never done this before, but I'm going to try And after you tried, you realize, oh snap, I succeeded. All right, this is cool. So this adds another notch. And this is a new thing that I am now able to do. And as you continued to do this thing, you became better and better and better at it, right? When you were a baby, you didn't say, oh, well, I fell down. I'm never gonna walk again. I'm never gonna get up. I'm never gonna try to do this thing again, no. You kept trying. Another reason why you kept trying is because I'm sure there were people around you who were encouraging you to do this new thing. And one of the biggest confidence boosters in a woman's life, in anyone's life, is having people around them who believe in their abilities, who believe in their potential. And I'm not saying that is the only requirement. Because you in yourself, you have to believe in your abilities and you have to believe in your potential. Because I'm sure that there are many of you who have heard from other people, come on, you can do this. And still you don't believe within yourself that you can. And what I was telling the woman I was talking to on the phone, on the Zoom call, sorry, just now, is that confidence comes from two places confidence can come from your track record. So confidence can come from what you've already done. And how I was explaining it is that it can be like bricks. So you're building one thing on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, and you're boosting yourself from within because confidence not only comes from action that you take outside of yourself, it also comes from action that you take place that takes place within yourself. So when you are confident enough to look within and do the inner work that is necessary, the outer action will be a result of the inner work that you have already done. And therefore your confidence comes from a sense of ability, whether or not you have done this thing, this thing, I don't know what this thing is for you, but whether or not you have performed this particular action before doesn't matter. You believe in your potential. And that leads me to the second place that confidence comes from. Confidence doesn't only come from history. Confidence also comes from your destiny. There are things in life that are calling you forward. There are things in life that are calling you higher. There are things in life that are calling you to become a bigger and better version of the woman that you currently are. And you are going to surprise yourself with the confidence that you are able to have when you have to show up in bigger and better and brighter ways. You absolutely have it in you, but you have to recognize what is possible. Forget what has already happened, but recognize what is possible. And I pulled up a scripture just before I started here. And this is Philippians 1, verse 6. And it says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you, he being God, will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. I don't know about you, but last I checked, Jesus has not come back yet. 
right? So if you are a woman who believes that you are created by God and you are created with purpose and for purpose, that there is potential within you and that there is something, even though you haven't maybe identified exactly what it is, but there is something that is calling you forward, that is calling you higher, that is calling you to be a bigger and better and brighter version of yourself. Be confident that God who began what may look like a small thing now in you will be faithful to complete it. If you're still here, then he is not done. So keep moving forward and have confidence in what God has already placed inside of you. Have confidence in the vision, even if it looks blurry right now, even if your personal vision to you is not yet clear, there is something that is calling you forward. This could be in the area of your finances. It could be in the area of your health. It could be in the area of your relationships. It could be in the area of your career. It could be all of them. You may be just on the cusp of, of this feeling of, no, this cannot be all there is. This cannot be all that there is to my life. This cannot be all that I am created to be. There must be more. There absolutely is more. And be confident that there is more. Be confident that you can step into that more. Be confident that you have the capacity for it, not only to achieve it, but to sustain it right? Don't be afraid of achieving. Sometimes we're afraid of achieving because we don't believe that we have the ability and the capability, capability to sustain what we have achieved. You have it. You have it. But it's a matter of pulling it out of yourself, right? It's a matter of getting rid of the mindsets and the thoughts and the behaviors and the habits that are covering up your true potential and your true authenticity. So I really hope this helps. I hope this helped to shift your perspective on being confident in who you are and in who you were created to be, because there's a part of you that is so amazing. She is going to blow your mind. You just haven't met her yet. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. And I will talk to you soon. And comment, comment and let me know which part of this video resonated with you the most. I'd really love to hear from you. I'll talk soon. Bye.